Welcome back to another video of why nobody plays, a series of mine where I outline the pros and cons of picking some of the legends with the lowest pick rates in Apex Legends. And today we have Ramya, the woman who made all the guns in the Apex games, Rampart. Rampart to me is a misunderstood defensive legend. Maybe it's because she's my favorite out of all of defense legends. She's the only defense legend that I go out of my way to play most of the times from my two mains. And she's really fun to play when you know how to use her kit to the best of your abilities. But why is she one of the legends with the lowest pick rates. That's what I'm here to explain in details today and we'll be starting this off with how I do every one of these videos in this series with her strengths. Rampart's first strength is a huge part of her kit and is actually the strongest part of her kit. As well, when used right, her tactical, her armed cover slash walls. Her walls are so versatile and are basically a portable cover which increases bullet damage when you shoot through the translucent layer of the walls. The walls can be used to provide cover for you and your teammates in area which may be open for a team to shoot at you. You can use your walls to turn a 1v2 into 3 different 1v1s because they give you the ability to change the dynamics of a fight and to block player movements as well. You can also set up walls to block doors and to even use as a platform to either gain height by climbing the wall or to use it to super glide off of or to ledge slide to gain extra movement speed. Her walls are best used in buildings because it allows you to predict your enemy's movements with how they are going to approach your walls. If you block a door with your wall, the enemy is forced to either kick down the door, use a grenade or jump through the wall which we all know is difficult as well for some reason to get to you who is on the other side of that wall which allows you time to plan out how you are going to approach this fight because not all three of them are going to come charging in at the same time. One may be focused on breaking the wall while the other two are focused on finding an alternate route to get to you. You can also switch doors with your walls meaning that you can place the wall in such a way that you can open the door from the inside but they can't open the door from the outside. Rampart's walls also bring value to a team which as I said in the first point gives them cover from incoming bullets but won't block a Gibby ultimate like Gibby's bubble or Watson's pylons which is now broken in Apex for some reason, respawn please fix that. But you can hide behind walls to heal and to hide your hitbox completely. Rampart's second strength is her ultimate which we all know got a recent buff this season where she can carry around her Sheila in her hand now making it more mobile which is a good buff for her honestly because the initial problem I had with Rampart was the fact that her ultimate required her to sit in one place and just shoot the torrent until it was time to leave that location. But now she can move around with it but it does have a limited amount of ammo until she places it down on the ground which gives her an infinite amount of ammo but it's still a solid buff that she needed. Rampart in my opinion is one of the best defensive legends in the game based on how fluid her movement feels and she doesn't feel clunky and immobile compared to the others. But why is her pick rate so low? Personally I think there are three reasons and those are our three weaknesses. One is solely based on the player base of Apex Legends and two are because of her kit. Her first weakness is her passive. Her passive allows her to get more ammo per magazine size when she uses the LMG such as the Devotion, Rampage and Spitfire. But in all honesty, who goes out of their way to use any of these guns? I'm sure most of us use shotguns, ARs and SMGs more than we use LMGs and you'd probably only go out of your way to use a LMG only if you are going to use Rampart or if you just like LMGs. You're probably weird. The second weakness is the time her walls take to fully be placed with the arm translucent part that you shoot through. How long that takes to come up is kind of annoying. It feels like it takes a thousand years for it just to come up. Her final weakness is one to do with the player base. Most of the player base doesn't want to run a defensive legend. Why I think it's more geared toward their personal preference and probably based on what they've heard from the community, such as content creators who constantly say that Rampart is a bad legend. Which could affect someone who wants to pick her up as their main cause you know we as people are easily influenced by other people's opinions and always want to be seen as socially acceptable and Rampart doesn't seem socially acceptable to play in Apex because she apparently encourages you to play in a campy playing style but what's wrong with that? With East Legend you have to play to their strength and Rampart's strength is playing around buildings and her walls to limit player movement so you have to play to your strengths regardless. We see the gaming merchant make Rampart look like the best legend in the game. Why? 
because he plays her to her strengths. He knows the pros and cons of playing Rampart and he plays by enforcing those pros and capitalizing on them. But how can Rampart be improved? There can only be one improvement I see being made to Rampart and it's to make the speed of her walls to be fully placed to be a bit faster seeing as it takes a while to be fully placed. I don't see them touching her passive to give her that extra ammo with SMGs and ARs because it would contradict her character completely seeing that when she picks up. And LMG, she says, mm, I love LMGs, you know that voice line. If you've reached this far in the video, leave a like, comment, and give your own opinion on Rampart and how can she be buffed, or if you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video. Until next video, this has been Playboy Sasuke, have a great day.